What's happening, Android friends? Welcome to another app of the week. I am David, of course, your Android junkie here at AndroidSpin.com, and I apologize for not having an app of the week last week. I also apologize for some of the ambient noise that you might be hearing. It is pouring rain here in SoCal. So it's supposed to be raining all the way through the weekend, which kind of blows, but it's okay. Still doing an app of the week. Sound like I'm outside, right? Uh, we're going to be looking at a new lock screen app called Cover. And we've actually covered this before on the site when it first uh, the first video came about. We covered Cover. <laughs> Bazinga. Wow. And this is developed by some ex-Googlers. And uh, here it is right here, as you can see. Got uh, this lovely, pretty wallpaper right here along with the time. And we've got these icons right here that actually show... I have a lot of emails, yes I know people, I tend to build them up really quickly. Basically what Cover does is if I were to do this, oh, I can look at my, oh, I can look at all that, look at that, whoa, pretty. If I wanted to look at my Instagram, oh, look at that, that's so cool, there's Olga K, she's cool. Oh, we're going to look at my Google Plus, okay, let's look at that. Isn't that awesome? Yes, this is what Cover does. First off, what it does, what it tries to do, like we'll go into the settings here. You can see the different settings. Okay, we got home, work, car, and out. So you got four different um, lock screens that you'll see. When you're at home, it'll have um, night as well as day. And of course, you could set a silent at night, which is cool. You set up your wireless network. Um, and so that way, when you log on to that wireless network, it'll know you're at home, so it'll bring up your home lock screen. And of course, work will naturally be, um, like if you have a, a certain wireless network at work, you put it on there, and once you log on there, it'll know you're at work, which is pretty cool. Car, that's just based on movement. If it knows that you're moving by your GPS, it'll set the car lock screen. And then if you're just out, like if you're not on a not on a Wi-Fi, you're at the mall or something, it'll have the out lock screen, which is pretty cool stuff. Okay, and uh, let's go back here. So you can actually pick too, like I'll show you. Here's what the car looks like. This is car mode. And we got out. See, it changes the wallpaper too, which is really nice. And we'll look at the wallpapers right here. Okay, so... Say we're out and I wanted something dip different for the wallpaper. I could choose from all these different wallpapers that they have. It's pretty nice. Or I could choose a custom one. But uh, I like this one right here. And then you could choose one for a car. Shh. Stupid cats, man. Um, I like that one. So you could just choose the different wallpapers you have. Work, I work at home. So that's my night. That's my night wallpaper right there. And the day one, you can actually have the same one but during the day, so that's pretty cool. And yes, it might seem... Oh yeah, I got it on the out. Let's put it back to the home. Now it might seem cool that it does that, um, but it does have a, it does need a little work because, you know, when you see the demonstration video, yeah, it seems cool that you just touch that and all of a sudden you can peek behind it. But really, it's not so much doing that because watch. See, it has to still load up the app. And not to mention, it'll open all your apps that you had open. So you... <laughs> So I got this stupid thing right here. That's my ROM is messed up a little bit. Um, but yeah, it, uh, it, it kind of just loads it up. So it's not super fast. Like if you didn't have an app that was already pre-opened, you know, it still has to load it up. See how it loaded up right there? And then even if you were to go back to this and then open up a new apps, an app, both of the apps are open. So it's not like, it'd be, see, now I'm back to the, that one right there. So it'd be nice if it was... You're able to close those apps once you stopped, but uh, I'm sure it's a work in progress um, and everything, which is, it's still not bad. But you know what, what's also cool about this too, there's some uh, extra little goodies on here for you actually. Um, obviously, it, it figures out which apps you, you use at home the most, you use on the road the most. It figures it out over time, and of course you could just swipe just to open your phone just like that. But a little added bonus here is... You can actually use this as, you know, like an app drawer because you could just swipe up and look at that. It hasn't, I haven't been using it. I've flashed any ROMs so it doesn't know my little schedule yet. But see, if you swipe up, it'll keep all your apps that you use the most. Obviously, on the front, the first few apps will be the ones you use the most and then it'll just go down from there. And you can just open stuff just like that, like an open Zedge. See, it still has to, so it's still technically opening up and you feel like a little haptic, fee, haptic feedback when you touch the icon. So that's pretty cool. 
Um, and also, another little added bonus, say you wanted to take a quick picture real quick. Um, obviously, you don't have a camera icon right here, but if you were to turn it like this, ta-da, and there's your camera. So it senses that you have it in uh, landscape mode, and it brings up the, the camera icon, and you have quick access to your camera, which is actually pretty cool. So if you do that, you see the little camera icon right there. And also another little added bonus, you get a little sidebar too with all your apps you use the most on any home screen. Any app you're in, you can you could use that. It's pretty cool stuff. So yeah, it is really, you know what, this is probably like my favorite lock screen I've ever had. I'm not sure if it works really well on uh, Android 4.4 KitKat because I flashed this KitKat ROM and it would soft reboot sometimes when I try to access the apps. So... I don't know if that was because of it's just not working well with Android 4.4 because when I went back to 4.3 it worked fine. Um, I don't know. Then again, it could have just could just be this ROM just doesn't doesn't like it. But yeah, so it's right now you can't get cover in the Play Store. It's unfortunately you have to be invite only. Some of you might have gotten your invites already, um, but uh, you just got to be patient and hopefully they keep developing this because this is a really cool app. What I, what I also would like too. So we could utilize like some of the space maybe for like a widget or something that'd be kind of cool as well just have some kind of information right there or something have the have the option of putting some lock screen widgets on it'd be pretty sweet anyways guys yes this cover uh, if you want to uh check it out just um send your email in to get an invite and hopefully they'll send you a, over an invite so you can check it out like i said it's becoming my favorite lock screen app and uh <clears throat> sorry i'm choking on spit and I highly suggest using it. So uh, if you've used it, let me know how much you like it. Um, and that's about it, guys. So hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Also, uh, subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already. Well, I am David, your Android junkie with AndroidSpin.com. This has been App of the Week. Cover! Cover! Let's peek behind. Whoop! See, I mean, it's just a fancy way to open up an app, really. But, yeah. All right, guys. Talk to you later.